Oh, what's this doing here? Well, I did it, guys. 4.2 hours, and I popped my first track. Um, probably my fault. It, uh, I haven't adjusted them since I got the machine. Uh, they did say that you know you need to adjust them uh, periodically for the first couple hours, and uh, it was a little loose. But I don't have a grease gun handy at the moment. It's in my other trailer, so I was trying to be careful. But uh, I did it. So now we're gonna do a video on how to put the track back on. All right. So the first thing you want to do is uh, get the machine off the ground. I took my grapple bucket. Um, well, first I put a block under this side, under the rear. Then I took my grapple bucket and I dug it into the straight down into the ground. When that happened, the rear came up, hit the block. Now I'm completely off the ground. Um, second thing you want to do is take your alamite out. Uh, I already took mine out. That way the grease can come out. Um, I'm working with minimal tools because I'm at my buddy's house um, helping him do some projects and he's not home. And uh, he didn't know I was coming, so he didn't leave the garage unlocked for me. So luckily I, I, I carry a toolbox everywhere I go. Um, but as far as prying this thing up to get the grease out, I've just had to look around and find something. So I found a piece of angle iron and I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but when you're out in the job and you got minimal tools because you're an idiot and you didn't bring everything you needed, you gotta make do with what you can find. So let's see if we can get this, uh, the grease pushed out. You know what? I'm an absolute idiot. I know exactly how to do this. I'll be back. A ratchet strap. I know what you're thinking. How is this guy so smart? Well, trust me, I wasn't always this smart. You wouldn't believe of the things I tried before I thought about a ratchet strap. Oh, what's this doing here? Just a random piece of angle laying here in the yard. Now watch the grease come out. Wow. It is rolling out now. Well, let's see if that's enough. Get it back on. It's almost fully collapsed. Oh yeah. Look here, it's back. Take our, uh, take our grease installer 3000, put that back in the truck for next time. Put our alamite back in, get it in, and tighten it up. Don't get crazy with it. Use a little quarter inch ratchet. Doesn't take much. Tracks back on, easy peasy. Now we just gotta shoot some grease in it and we'll be ready to rock. So my buddy finally got back from vacation, so now we're uh, gonna put some grease in this track. We've been waiting for an hour. <laughs> what I like about this, this is a clean job. Dude, it's gonna take two tubes of grease. 
It's moving. Yeah, it shouldn't take that much. Not a whole, whole lot come out. Okay, that's moving quick. It was loose this morning when I got here. But uh, you weren't here, so I just run it. thing you gave me that tube of grease. <laughs> it's like you knew. So after getting it all back together, figured out that uh, it wasn't loose. Uh, the alamite went bad. It's uh, leaking out. So we actually done put the track back on it, greased it up. Now all the grease is coming back out the alamite. So we're gonna do it again, replace the alamite. So we got the track back on. Um, come to find out the uh, the alamite was bad. Um, it was leaking through the ball. So we had to replace the alamite and that's all it was. So probably wouldn't have even came off if that alamite hadn't have failed. Um, but there you go guys, it's that simple. <laughs>